Think about this. What is the biggest pain in the neck about sailing? The tiller. 90% of the time you want to sail on a straight course, so why sit by the tiller 100% of the time? Tiller Tender locks your tiller on a straight course. Every boat is different. The rudder and a keel are rarely true. So under full power or sail, one person should keep the boat on a true course. The second person takes the tiller tender and positions the tiller in the middle of the saddle or the cradle. Half inch neoprene shims are provided with each tiller tender kit. These shims are used for fine adjustments underway and also used in the installation process to lock the tiller in place to install the receiver on the transom. The tiller tender extension arm should be locked in line with a slight angle to the tiller. This is critical. When the plate at the end of the tiller tender is flush with the transom, make a small mark on the transom where the top of the diamond shaped piece hits the transom. Return to the dock. Drill a pilot hole using a quarter inch drill bit where the small mark is and put one of the mounting bolts through the cockpit pack and hold the backing plate in order to mark the other holes. Use a straight bar or device to make sure the backing plate is level when marking the remaining holes. Do not use a level. Use a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill out all four holes. This will allow some flexibility in the bolts to facilitate easy backing plate installation. Two people will make the installation a lot easier. Inject silicone sealant into the holes to prevent water damage. Install the receiver onto the transom. Put the bolts into the receiver plate and insert in the holes in the cockpit wall. The smallest person goes below deck or reaches up under and places the backing plate on the screws while the outside person manipulates the screws with a number four Allen wrench until all of the screws are through the backing plate. Place tiller tender into the receiver and tighten the screws down. Do not over tighten. Go sailing. To change course or in an emergency, lift up on the tiller to take control of the boat or completely take tiller tender out of the receiver and store. As the boat will change course slightly as people move about, use the half inch neoprene shims on either side of the tiller to adjust the course. On the saddle application where the rudder post is coming up through the cockpit floor, the locking knob should be up. This is opposite of the cradle position shown in the video. The extension arm should be above the tiller. Extend the arm of the tiller tender to achieve the best angle and tighten the extension knob. Tighten the bolt on the receiver end until you feel resistance so that if you need to take control when you pull up on the tiller, the tiller tender will easily draw back and stay back while you manually steer the boat. Occasionally check the resistance to make sure that the tiller tender stays back when pulled back. Before you buy, check your transom for strength, thickness, and sufficient access to the area behind the cockpit wall where the tiller tender's backing plate must be installed. If your transom is less than a quarter inch thick, consider cutting a piece of quarter inch marine plywood four to five inches wider than the backing plate to strengthen the area. If using an additional quarter inch piece of plywood, make sure that it is sandwiched between the receiver and the backing plate. 
Do not buy this product if you cannot properly install the backing plate.